We were told you we would take you back live to downtown Atlanta as police started. Here, let's listen in and update on that deadly shooting at Atlantic Station. homicide involving two kids uh, who were uh, in the uh, midtown space. Uh, and again, a senseless death uh, involving uh, a handgun. Uh, so uh, first, I'd like to offer my condolences to the family uh, coming after Thanksgiving and headed to Christmas. Uh, the last thing that they should be prepared for is a funeral of their children. Um, and then we're also here to announce an increase in the Crime Stopper Award of $10,000. The next person you'll hear from is the lead detective, uh, Investigator Shepard. Uh, he'll uh, go through a video and some still photos uh, where we're asking for the public's assistance in the helping us solving now this double homicide. I don't detect the Shepard, the Atlanta Homicide Unit. I am the lead detective uh, on the case. I've been working the case since day night, day one, uh, the night of the incident. Uh, from my investigation, I was able to determine two primary suspects, two shooters, um, and these persons that I'm going to point out in this video is a person that's responsible for the entire shooting. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the video. This is Mr. Zion, uh, the child that's deceased, number that's 12 years old. The top left hand with the black and yellow jacket, that's my main shooter. This is right before the shooting incident on 17th Street. The second clip, the uh, black male wearing the blue hoodie with the white letters on the front, he is the second suspect in this incident. These are the same, the same group coming into the uh, Martyr Station. That's the Art Center Martyr Station. This is right after the shooting. Again, you see the primary suspect. They're getting ready to board the train. They ride the train from different various uh, locations throughout the city. So again, this is immediately after uh, the shooting. What I was able to determine through my investigation, um, all of the, Zion was killed uh, from this person's bullet. This person is also a part of Zion's group. There was not a back and forth shootout between the second male who's now deceased. So, it wasn't. no, it wasn't, it wasn't. So we have a group that was in the area, uh, this group here, we have, Cameron, who just died yesterday, riding by in the scooter. Uh, the gentleman you see here in this video pulled out a handgun, shot multiple shots, directing it at Cameron. Zion took a bullet, uh, indirect shot, meant for Cameron. So did the other victims out there. All bullets were meant, directed at Cameron. Everybody else with collateral damage from his shooting directed at Cameron. Again, that's my suspect, the bottom right-hand corner. This is the group he's with. During the train ride, they antagonized different customers. Um, uh, they flashed their waistband uh, as gesturing like they're gonna pull their weapon out. Uh, they flashed gang signs. Uh, they antagonized another group at a gas station. And they also seem to be celebrating, uh, making gestures and talking about the shooting. So we're just asking uh, your viewers uh, to crowd, call Crime Stoppers uh, where they can remain anonymous. Uh, any information is will be helpful in this uh, investigation. We're asking individuals that were driving on the 17th Street Bridge, if they have video, uh, they know anything, to call Crime Stoppers, again, where they can man, remain anonymous. Uh, we're just asking for the, the public support. As always, this is definitely how we solve crimes, is with the uh, aid of the, the public. Uh, we'll 
ask for a couple of questions. Uh, but again, just realize that it is a uh, still very active investigation, uh, and the focus is on on the information we're releasing today. Detective, Sorry, just to clarify, did you say that there was only one shooter? Were there multiple shooters? There was multiple shooters. Uh, do you know how many exactly? Is it two? At least three. At least three shooters, yes. At least and three shooters. De Detective, can you um, just be, just clarify a couple of things? So at this point in the video when they're getting onto MARTA, do they know that Zion is dead? Do, uh, did, did Zion go with them and do they realize that he's not going back with So them? that's a great question. Zion was with them, as you see on the video, before they got to the place where the shooting t occurred. Right. He's not with them anymore. Is, I'm not sure if they knew that he's dead at that point. But they definitely knew that people was hurt and people were shot. You can hear them talking on the trains. You can hear them talking and celebrating, talking about the gunshots and things like that. So I can't confirm that they knew that he was dead at that moment. And you said Cameron was on a scooter. Can you explain that? Yeah, so right before the incident, you have three scooters that drive right by this uh, group of people that includes this young man. Um, riding. The third person was Cameron. Somebody yells his name. They say, uh, that's Cameron, that's our position. That's when shots rang out. The shots directed to Cameron, that's when you have all the other collateral people that were shot. All the bullets were meant for Cameron. Zion took the bullet, he's deceased on the scene. Then we have the other uh, victims that was also shot. Everything was directed to Cameron. The male in the black and the yellow hoodie, he is the main perpetrator, the main suspect uh, that fired off most of the rounds uh, that killed and hit most of the people in the but black you're saying yellow. This, but the yes, black, the black but you're saying the, the one in the blue shirt with the white writing, he also shot, right? He also shot. And then there's a third shooter that's not in this video? He's in the video, but I'm still trying to figure out which one he is. And everyone was shooting at Cameron? Cor yeah, correct. Everything was directed at Cameron. Do we know the ages of the shooters? Can we tell or anything like that? No, I mean, he appears to be the, the old, maybe the oldest in the group. Uh, you can definitely tell he's one of the leaders in the group. They all kind of mimic his movements. Uh, they follow him. They give him handshakes. So he seems to be the one that has the most persuasion in the group. Uh, the other ones look a little younger than him. So we have an age range, safe to say, 14 to mid-20s. Are y'all considering this a gang-related shooting? And if so, can you elaborate on that? At, at this time, it's still, as I said before, still early on. Uh, we're Everything is on the table to figure out what exactly led up to it and why uh, Cameron was targeted. Uh, and so again, we're not we're not ruling it out, uh, but it is something that we are definitely looking into. Was Cameron armed? When he was uh, and again, this is still early on. We did recover uh, three weapons uh, on the scene, uh, and again, we're still going through the ballistics and, and determine who were as in possession of the weapons at the time. Can you tell us where Zion was shot and where Cameron was shot? At this time, again, that's part of the investigation. Uh, but again, I just want to stress, we're asking for identifications of any individuals you see in the video. As uh, Detective Shepard indicated, we know that two individuals uh, definitely were our shooters. Uh, we want to treat the other individuals currently right now as, as witnesses. Uh, but as we move forward in this investigation. If we don't receive cooperation from them, it's very possible that they also could be uh, charged with some type of, uh, having some type of involvement with the death of these two kids. So again, even if they see themselves on the video, we're asking them to contact the homicide unit, uh, ask to speak to Detective Shepard, uh, so we can uh, determine exactly what happened on that evening. How many people do, you have, uh, do you have any reaction to some of the comments that Zion Charles' mother made uh, this week in regards to when she said that she was reaching out to APD and that you guys were in communication with um, Zion himself before this shooting. Any response to anything she had to say? At, at this time, again, we are responsible of solving the death of these two kids. That's what our, that's what our focus is. It is a tragic incident that happened in our city. Uh, and that's where our focus is on today. Uh, I have a again. question. Were so any officers any present in the middle of that group? I'm sorry. When the shooting occurred. Say again. Were any officers, APD officers, off-duty officers, and landing station security present when the gunfire went off and what happened from there? <laughs> As we, I think there is a, a, a video that we know that there were off-duty officers uh, working in the, uh, along the 17th Street Bridge, so we know that there was a, a very prompt response uh, of an officer responding very quickly as, as shots were ringing out. So we know that we had off-duty officers in the area. Have y'all been able to identify any of these people or talk to them? 
identify who? Uh, any of the witnesses, anybody who's present. Again, in, individuals you see on the, the video, we have not been able to identify them. And so this is why we are here. Uh, and we're asking your viewers to assist us in the in identification. Zach, then Eric. The, the shooting, uh, is there any indication that this group, along with Zion, saw Cameron any time before the shooting happened, or they saw him on the scooter at the time of the shooting? That was the first time they'd seen him. What, coming on? Yeah, okay. So, no, it, it appears that it was uh, immediate and random. Uh, Cameron seemed to be, and his two uh, friends, riding through the area en route to Atlanta Station to enjoy the festivities. That's when this, this shooter in a uh, hoodie sweatshirt, yellow and black, took it upon himself, fired those rounds at Cameron. Eric, last question. We have a 12-year-old dead. We have a 15-year-old dead. Just someone who lives in Atlanta, your message to the community when investigating something like this, and it looks like just young kids involved in this as well. What goes through your mind in the past couple of days? How have you guys handled all of this? I, I mean, again, as I said before, it's, it's tragic. Uh, being a, a father myself, uh, having uh, young teenage uh, daughters, uh, it's, it's difficult uh, to investigate uh, a death of a child. Uh, my heart goes out to the mothers of these two, uh, their sons. Uh, I, I can't imagine uh, what they're currently going through. As, as I stated earlier, uh, they should be preparing for Christmas, the holidays. Uh, but now they have to spend their time on making arrangements uh, uh, to uh, bury their, their sons. Uh, and so, again, my heart goes out, uh, but I assure them uh, that we are working hard, as Detective Shepard said. Uh, he hasn't stopped working, uh, and he's following every leads that come out. But we're at the point now today uh, where, with this video, we believe that with the cooperation of the public, uh, people call in and let us know who these individuals are that they see in this video. Uh, that we will be in a better position of being able to bring this case to a successful closure uh, for the family. Do you know Thank you. Detective, can you just say, spell your name, please, sorry. Yes, Detective Jerry and Shepard. J sorry, what? Jerry Shepard, J-A-R-I-O-N. We've been listening to Detective Jerry Shepard, Atlanta Homicide, and also Deputy Chief uh, Charles Hampton, who have been really updating us on the latest on this investigation into that deadly shooting at Atlantic Station. We just learned today one other of those children who was shot has died. Um, very interesting the way they've taken apart the video, very distinctive clothing that was being worn, and they directed us to information that, you know, the person who was killed first, Zion Charles, was not the intended target, but a child, Cameron, who died today, it appears, was the intended target. So they are asking for your help if you know anything. Truly stunning to get some of the details that we just heard live along with you from the Atlanta Police Department and the detective who was speaking about this. By the way, with that new video, we will turn around those images, get the highest quality we can, and put it out there on social media and here on Channel 2 Action News at 4, 5, and 6, so you can see them very closely. But again, um, a, a person who they describe as the shooter with a very distinctive yellow and black hoodie, half of it's yellow, half of it's black, and someone wearing a blue hoodie with white lettering on the front. And apparently they headed to the arts station, MARTA station, and were actually on a MARTA train and appear to be celebrating because they believe that they had shot their intended target, who we now know was a 15-year-old on his scooter. Again, you heard it from police. This is a time when families should be celebrating, getting ready for the holidays. Instead, two families now are planning for funerals. We'll have a lot more on this, on the outcome, on what's next on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4 o'clock throughout the afternoon. And we will keep you posted on any new developments. They ask that you call Crime Stoppers if you were on that bridge and have any video that could perhaps help them.